Ladysmith area friends. I'm Jen from Ladysmith Parks Recreation and Culture. Today's movement activity is a cardio core class. This activity is suited for anyone. Um, just make sure you click the link to check in with the medical questionnaire, listen to your body. Um, I will give modifications. Just make sure you're listening to how you're feeling and don't do anything that does not feel right. Um, so today's plan is we're going to be doing um, two core exercises for 30 seconds each and then in the middle we're going to be doing a half to bat at cardio. So 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, four rounds, repeating the core and then on to a new set. Okay, so we're going to get warmed up and then um, you don't have to remember any of that. I will be cueing you on all of the times. Okay, so we're going to get warmed up. Start with a little march, open those arms and cross. Open, and no equipment needed, just a mat if you are on a hard floor. Good. Circle out those wrists. Good. We are going to sidestep, add in some arms. And butt kicks. Push those arms back. Good. And into some jacks. You can always take those into a lower impact version. Good. Slow those legs. Feet hip distance apart. We're going to come into some squats. Get the legs warmed up. Hinge from your hips. Watch those knees stay behind the toes. Good. We'll do two more. Good. Now we're going to take the right leg. Side lunge. Come to the center. Little hop. Just warming up. Hop. Hands up. Opposite knee towards the opposite elbow. Core nice and tight. Good. One more. Good. We are going to do some butt kicks. into some high knees. Bring those knees up a little higher. Good. Slow those legs. If you're going to come into a lunge, lift the arms. Watch that knee stays behind the toe. Torso's nice and tall. Good. One more. Nice and wide, hands out, fingertips towards the opposite toe. Good, and up. Okay, if we're ready to get started, we're going to start with our two core exercises. Exercise number one is a flutter kick. So you're going to be lying on your mat. You are going to have your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, and you're going to flutter the legs, pushing that back into the mat. 30 seconds. Get ready, and go. Really push that back into the mat. Think about using your core. Ten more seconds here. To make this easier, you can always drop the head. And stop. Exercise two, you're going to plant those feet. You're going to point your fingertips straight out. You're going to have your head, neck, and shoulders up. You're going to slide tap your ankle. Slide tap the other ankle, alternating. And go. Tap. Using your obliques, nice and slow. Ten 
more seconds. And stop. We're going to come up to standing. And we're going to do our cardio, which is going to be 20 seconds work, 10 rest, four times. Our cardio will be jumping jacks for this one. So jacks can be nice and quick. You can take it down a bit. You can make it harder by doing a star jack. You can pick your option there. Get ready. Go. 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. And stop. Okay, we're on to round two. Round two, first core exercise, is a side plank. So I'll show you a couple options. You can have your forearm parallel to the top of that mat. Coming up from your toes, you're going to have your hand on your temple and you're going to do a rotation, bringing the elbow towards that forearm. You can do the same thing from the knees. If you find holding a side plank is enough, that's fine, or holding from the toes. Those are your options there. We're going to do our right side first. And go. So everything is stacked nicely. Your elbow is under your shoulder. Everything nice and lined up. Good. Ten seconds. Almost there. And stop. Exercise two is a reverse crunch. So you're on your back. 
Head, neck, and shoulders are on the mat. You're going to have the legs up. You're going to use your lower abdominals to push those feet up towards the ceiling. So feet are flat. Push up. Go. Core engaged. Almost there. And stop. So cardio, our half Tabata this time, is going to be floor tap jumps. So you're going to tap the floor. Now if that's too much, you can always stick with some quick Squats, that'll still get your heart rate up. Get ready, so 20 seconds, four times. Go. Rest, so you have three more sets of that. Side plank. So forearm across the top of the mat, either from the knees or the toes. Go ahead. Bring that elbow towards the arm. So we're on our back, feet up towards the ceiling, and we're going to push those feet towards the ceiling. Push. Using your lower abdominals here. here. 
almost there. And stop. Next one is a seesaw plank. So you're on your forearms. If you're on your toes, it looks like this, back is flat. You're gonna saw forward and back. Now you can do this from your knees. No, actually you can't. Um, hard from your knees. I, if you're finding it's too hard, hold a knee plank and just keep that belly tight. Okay, get ready, go. Nice and slow. You wanna think about using the core. down to repeat the core. So the V-tuck is your first one. Get ready. Go. Tuck. Pull those knees in. nice and tight. And stop. Okay, last round is a bear hold with a shoulder tap. So hands are under the shoulders, knees are under your hips. You're going to hover those knees, 
tap the shoulders. If that's too much, you can always come back into a knee plank, keeping the knees on the floor, and do it that way. Go ahead. Back is nice and flat here. Try not to wiggle those hips, or sway them too much. Keep the knees hip distance apart. Almost there. And stop. Next one is row your boat. So a couple options here. You're gonna be sitting back about 45 degrees. Taking both feet off is gonna be your hardest. You can leave one foot down to make it a bit easier or both feet down. Your choice, hands are straight. Side to side. So you can do that with the feet down as well. And go. that belly nice and tight. Keep going. Almost there. And stop. Cardio. Last round of cardio. So for your 20 seconds, butt kicks. Nice and quick. Or if you need to tone it back, you can do just like we did in a warm up. You can always slow it down that way. And go. And those heels towards your back. We have one more. Get ready, go, last one. Almost there. And stop. Last two core exercises and then we are done. So we are going back to oh, oops, the bare pull with the shoulder taps or doing it from your knees on the mat. Go. Hover those knees just a little bit.
Almost there. This is your last exercise. And stop. Okay, have a little lay down on the mat. We'll stretch. Arms and legs out. Stretch them out. Nice and long. Good. Plant that right foot. You bring the left leg up. Grab a hold above or below the knee. Slight pull towards the body. Circle that ankle three times each direction. Point and flex that foot. Good. Take that leg, cross it over top of this other leg, and pull through. Good. And release. Plant the left foot. Right leg comes up. Grab a hold above or below the knee. Slight pull towards the body. Circle that ankle three times each direction. Point and flex. Take that leg, cross it over top of the other leg, pull through. Grab a hold of the top set of shoelaces, knees together, bend that elbow, core tight. Release. We're going to switch to the other side. Grab a hold of the other leg, knee down, bend the elbow. Big inhale. Exhale. Thanks for joining. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and isolation recreation.